continued proportion so in this proportion we will continued proportion this is the about three quantities like uh, one simple example i'll start three quantities are set in continued proportion if the ratio between first and second is exactly equal to second and third right that means if a b c let's take three are in to say these three are in continued proportion to say this three are in continued proportion only the condition if first to two that is a is to b is exactly equals to b is to c that means we can write this is in type like a divided by b is equals to b divided by c is the rule okay if a b c are in continued proportion first two quantity ratio a is to b should be equals to b is to c and the second quantity is called the mean proportion between them that means a b c in a b c are in continued continued proportion right so here is b we can call it as a mean proportion this is mean proportion only when a b c are in continued proportion then b is the second number is called mean proportion so a is to b is equals to b is to c like a proportion definition is product of the means is equal to product of the extremes so b into b is equals to a into c so b into b b square is ac that means b is equal to square root of a into c so if you know first and third one second number you can find out the mean proportion you can find out using this formula so square root of first term into second uh, third term is the mean proportion there is the second term okay so let us see one example uh, question is only for the mean proportion let us say 2 4 8 first let us check this in continued proportion or not 2 is to 4 should be equals to 4 is to 8 so here is 2 times uh, 1 is to 2 is this for ones are four two is eight so one is two two it's equal that means two four eight are in continued proportion now if you want to apply this rule the middle number four should be equal to square root of first and third term square root of two into eight sixteen that is four so if they'll give only instead of this four if it is two comma x comma eight are in continued proportion means that you can take x is equal to square root of 2 into 8. Okay, this is the rule. If the ABC are in continued proportion, then B is equal to square root of AC. Right. And let us see the examples now. Questions. First one. Same like find mean proportion between 4 and 8. The question is find the mean proportion. Find the mean proportion between 4 and 8. So the formula is mean proportion is B is equal to square root of A into C. Just you can apply this formula directly. So the mean proportion, let us take the mean proportion is B. Now that is equal to square root of A into C. So 4 into 8. 8 times 4. So 32 it is. Square root of 32. So you can, if it is possible to simplify, or else this is only the answer. Mean proportion. And instead of taking, let us take x and also solve. If you know the formula, you can apply directly. B is equal to square root of a into c. And same way, instead of the mean, if they ask the third proportion. Let's see second question. Find. Find the third proportion. Find the third proportion to 12 and 30. 12 and 30, first and second, third proportion you have to find out. So let third is x. That means 12 comma 30 comma x. Only three are there. So they are in continued proportion. So these three are in continued proportion. Mm -hmm. Then three are in continued proportion according to the rule. First to two terms ratio is equal to last two so first and second 
and second and third ratio must be equal. Then you can use the formula. Product of the means is equal to product of the extremes. That means 12 into x is equal to 30 into 30. Then x is 30 into 30 divided by 12. Yes, just you can simplify, you get the answer. So 30 into 30, 900 divided by 12, 75. The cancellation, you get the 75 is the third proportion value. This is about the proportion and continued proportion combination. So whenever third proportion they are asking or second proportion or mean proportion they ask, we can use the continued proportions. Now with the ratios, one problem. Now if A is to B is equals to 4 is to 5 and again B is to C is equal to 6 is to 7. So question is find A is to B is to C, right? So in this uh, first given data, A is to B is given 4 is to 5 and B is to C is 6 is to 7. So don't try directly A is to B is to C, 4, 5, 7 or 4, 6, 7 because B value is not same. We notice here is B is 5 in this first ratio and here is b value 6 not same so we should make the b value must be same in the both ratio first so here b value is 5 here b value 6 take 5 comma 6 lcm so 30 right lcm of 5 comma 6 is 30 now this you can multiply with 6 into 6 same number you can multiply both here you can multiply with 5 and 5 if you multiply with 5 first term second term also must be multiply with 5. Then if you simplify 4 into 6, 24, 5, 6 is a 30, here is 6, 5 is a 30 is to 35, 7, 5, 7. Now if you notice this uh, B value and B values are same, then you can write A is to B is to C. Don't see this first question, given one. After finding 24, 24 is to 30, B value is matching, you know, here and here, then C is 35. 24 is to 30 is to 35 is the A is to B is to C value. Okay, so this is the method you can apply A, B, B, C. Only if they are asking A, C value. A is to B, B is to C is given. Only if they ask A is to C, 24 is to 35. From this only you should take again. Don't take from A, C means don't take 4 and 7 because 5, 6 are not same. So we should make the same by taking LCM then from this data we can make the series or like a ratio we can make it okay this is about the ratio and proportion the basic concepts any number of questions you can able to do this okay those are watching the first time our channel you can subscribe to our channel and all the chapter wise i'm uploading you can keep on watching to learn